So in this video we'll be looking at the fourth of six proofs. So before you look at it I'd probably recommend looking at theorem 4, theorem 6, theorem 9 and now we're on to theorem 14. So it's our second last proof and it's Pythagoras' theorem. So it will simply just state prove Pythagoras' theorem or prove that in a triangle given ABC where A is right angled um, that the hypotenuse squared is equal to the other two sides squared so AB squared plus AC squared so obviously we know Pythagoras' theorem and what we're asked to prove yeah as I just stated was that B squared the hypotenuse squared would equal to AB squared plus AC squared so AB squared plus AC squared okay so what do we have to construct for it we have to construct a line straight down here from A through A that is perpendicular to BC. So a line through A that is perpendicular to BC. It can be useful to mark this point D in as well. So our construction is a line perpendicular to BC through the point A. So as it's perpendicular to BC we can mark in two right angles and we're going to mark off our angles 1 and 3, 4 and 2. We can also then, or the guts of the proof then, sorry, the guts of the proof is to consider this small left triangle and the big triangle, and to consider this medium right triangle and the big triangle. So when we come along to our proof, we're going to consider the small triangle and consider the big triangle. And we know these triangles are similar. The reason we know they are similar is because A is common to both of them. There's a right angle in both of them. Sorry, sorry, not A. One is common to both of them. There's a right angle in both of them. And then we know that the angle 3 will have to equal the angle 2. So here. The angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees minus 1 minus 90 degrees. And the angle 2 is 180 degrees minus 1 minus the angle 2. Which leads us to know that the angle 3 is equal to the angle 2. So if the angle 3 is equal to the angle 2 and the angle 1 is equal to the angle 1 and the angle 90 is equal to the angle 90, we know they are similar triangles. And with similar triangles, then we can use ratios. So using the ratios, then, we know that the length AB, and we're interested in AB because, well, that's one of the lengths that we're going to try and prove is the sum of the hypotenuse. So I always remember it's the one that we're going to be interested in or even also remember that it's going to be the hypotenuse of the small triangle and later on we're going to be looking at the hypotenuse of the medium triangle. So AB and we want to end up with an AB squared so the other bottom right corner has to be AB. These top left and bottom right have to be AB. So it's the hypotenuse over the small length in the small triangle of the hypotenuse over the small length or well the hypotenuse over the small length yes in the large triangle so hypotenuse over small hypotenuse over small and from that if we multiply both sides here multiply both sides by the bottom lines so both sides by AB to get rid of the fractions and both sides by BD to get rid of the fractions we end up with a scenario like this and at this point we sort of pause and look at the medium triangle and the large triangle. So with the medium triangle, again, we want an AC squared. So it's the hypotenuse over the long length is equal to the hypotenuse over the long length. So hypotenuse over the long length is equal to the hypotenuse over the long length and then multiply both sides by the bottom line. So we're multiplying both sides by AC and multiplying both sides by DC. And we get an AC squared is equal to BC DC. So now consider what we have. From above, we have an, an AB squared and an AC squared. So if you add AB squared to AC squared, and if you add D, BD BC to BC DC, what do you end up with? So we've added the left-hand sides together of our two equations. We then add the right-hand sides of our two equations together. 
and what's common on both sides or in both uh, statements here is BC so we factorize out BC and you might notice DC BD let's go back up where's DC BD DC BD DC BD in our construction DC BD well that's the same as BC so that bracket can actually be replaced with a BC BC by BC is BC squared and this is actually what we were asked to prove this is Pythagoras' theorem and then you're finished so as I always recommend go back write it down and then watch it a third time uh, and focus on the understanding then the third time around so hopefully this video is helpful for you